All right, welcome back. Uh, Hanna Niga, Algebra 1. Uh, section 3.4, we're going to talk today about graphing linear equations in standard form. Um, we're going to basically talk about horizontal and vertical lines and then how we're going to graph equations in standard form using just the intercepts. Um, so here we go. Uh, standard form for a horizontal and vertical line. So if I have a y equals line, you're talking about a line that goes straight across through the number. So y equals 3. Again, y equaling an integer or a, uh, y equaling a value. So if I had to graph the equation of y equals a number, then I'm going to go straight across through that y axis. Again, vice versa, if you have an x equals a number, now you're talking about a vertical line and again passes through the only the x axis at that particular number. So again, next page here, y equals 4. So 1, 2, 3, go up 4 and then draw a horizontal line through the y axis. So a y equals line only goes through the y axis. An x equals line only goes through the x-axis. So I'm going to go to negative 2 on the x-axis and draw a vertical line. You try now. y equals negative 2.5. Hit pause for a second. Try these two. Welcome back. So negative 2.5 on the y-axis would be a horizontal line through negative 2.5. x equaling 5 is a vertical line going through the x-axis at 5. Intercepts now. This would be a situation in which you have both an x and a y value. So you need uh, in standard form. So standard form of equation is ax plus by equals c. If I put 0 in for y, that would give me the x intercept. So 0 for y gives me the x intercept. 0 for x gives me the y intercept. And so I'd have two points then and I can graph a line through any two points. So again, you're going to take an equation, you're going to put 0 in for y to get the x intercept, you're going to put 0 in for x to get the y intercept. So as we do this, if I put 0 in for y, this equation would be 2x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. Some people call this the cover-up method, and I know you can't see me right now, but if I got rid of the y completely, it would be 2x equals 12. And so then if I divide by 2, x would be 6. So 6, 0 is the x intercept. So now do the other way around. I'm going to put 0 in for x and solve. And so 0, 3 would be the y-intercept. Now, they are, we are going to get picky when we start talking about x-intercepts and y-intercepts. You must write that as an ordered pair. The point 6, 0 is the x-intercept. The point 0, 3 is the y-intercept. Now, plot those points and draw the line. So this is graphing when you have something in standard form. Next, I want to find the x and y intercepts. So if I put 0 in for y and solve, I would get x to equal 2. So 2 with a 0 for y is the x intercept. Now I put 0 in for x. I'm running out of space, so I'll put it all the way on the bottom. 2, 0 minus y equals 4 and I solve, I would get y to be negative 4. And that would be the y-intercept. So 0, negative 4, 2, 0, graph the intercepts. And again, the only reason why this works is I have both an x and a y in the equation. So I can have an x-intercept and a y-intercept. You try this one. Hit pause and see if you can get this one by yourself. All right, welcome back. So now, if I put 0 in for y, I would get 9 for my x-intercept. If I put 0 in for x, I would get 3 for y, for my y-intercept. Graphing those two points, 3, 0. 9, 
Oh, excuse me, 0, 3, 9, 0. And yes, it does matter. The x coordinate is always first and the y coordinate is always second. So 9, 0, and 0, 3. Real world applications. You are planning an awards banquet for your school. You need to rent tables for 180 people. The tables come in two sizes. Small tables are 6 people. Large tables are 10. The equation 6x plus 10y equals 180 models this situation where x is the small tables and y is the large tables. Graph the equation using the intercepts. If I put 0 in for y and I solved, so 6x plus 10 times 0 equals 180, 6x equals 180, x would equal 30. This would be the x intercept. Put 0 in for x and solve. I'm going to skip ahead and it's 18. So I'm going to graph those. 0, 18 is the y intercept. 30, 0 is the x intercept. And I connect the dots. Find four possible solutions in the context of the problem. So now, it, what this is saying is I could have 30 small tables and zero large tables. I could have zero small tables and 18 large tables. So now let's get some other scenarios in which this will work for my 180 people. So now, looking at the graph right here, could I have 10 small tables and 12 large tables. Would that fit my 180 people? The answer is yes. I have another point right here that might work. 20 small tables and 6 large tables would accommodate my 180 people. So again, there are scenarios within this that also would lend to other, other situations that would accommodate all 180 people. How many points does it take to make a line? Well, since we just did this, you need a minimum of two points. Are horizontal and vertical lines examples of functions? We didn't talk a little bit about that one. A vertical line is not a function, but a horizontal line is a function. And how do you graph the equation of 2x plus y equals 4? I'm going to put 0 in for y and solve. That will give me my x-intercept. I'm going to put 0 in for x and solve. And that would give me my y-intercept. You must write the x and the y-intercepts as ordered pairs, stating that again. Your homework assignment is a book assignment. Um, and if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to your teacher, and good luck.